it hurts a little bit. It's gonna hurt, but it, you gotta get. Then you gotta figure out. Okay, is it is it too hurt or not? Okay, I see it affecting your head and your shots. Okay, you've got to just go, 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 and we'll see how it reacts after today. Okay. Harvard is known as being an academic powerhouse, ranking number one in the world for institutions of higher learning year in and year out. There is more to Harvard culture than simply academics, however, as athletics are a large part of what makes Harvard so unique. Athletics play an incredibly important role here at the university, here at the athletic department. It's the largest athletic department in the country. We have 42 varsity sports. Uh, you know, we're a larger athletic department than Ohio State, Alabama, UCLA, USC. Um, you know, that, I think that really puts it in perspective for people, and it's crazy to think about. R roughly one in six students here are varsity student athletes. Athletically, having all these sports programs is a benefit for all of the athletes because there's so many people like us doing their respective sport that it's just, it's a part of the Harvard culture, okay, oh, th those are athletes, like, they're going to go work out at 6 a.m. and then they're going to come back at 8 a.m. and they're going to work on their papers for a couple hours and that's just when there's so many other people doing it you don't feel like you're alone and, and that work doesn't become so tedious monotonous it just becomes a part of the day. There's definitely that sense of like you see other athletes around you see everyone working hard it's cool because everyone has a lot of respect for each other we're all working hard towards a goal and whether that be wrestling whether that be football whether that be baseball whether it be field hockey like we're all working really hard towards a goal for me, that just shows that, you know, I can't use athletics as an excuse for not doing as well in school, um, not getting a good grade on tests, because there's plenty of kids who are doing it. Coach Weiss tells us about how there's no preferential treatment. Everyone's a student, who, and you're just a student who happens to play a sport because you love it. You know, I think that's one of the things that does set, you know, a Harvard student athlete apart from other athletes is that you're not coming in and staying in, you know, these oxygenated rooms, this special um, you know, dorm for athletes and you don't have all these amenities, you're, um, you're just a Harvard student who has a passion for a sport. Right there, just take it, just take it, yeah, okay? You're not going to go anywhere if it's, and sometimes they're going to counter that way. If it's back, I pull. He comes up, I snag it, okay? The day-to-day -day life of a Division I wrestling coach is very demanding. It's more than simply running practices and workouts. It's about understanding each athlete as an individual and what they need to get better. Something that Coach Weiss takes very seriously. Gotta get excited. Uh, I have to flood my mind with positive thoughts. What do you do when you have negative thoughts come in your mind? And what kind of negative thoughts come through? So right now, a negative thought that would probably come through is I haven't wrestled in, in, like, in competition in a while. So, I guess, how, how am I going to perform after not having wrestled in a while, but... Of do you listen to yourself or do you talk to yourself? You know, meaning, meaning if, if I sit there and listen to myself, what kind of thoughts are going to come through in my head if I listen to myself? Right. What kind of thoughts are going to come through if I listen? Do you know the difference between listening and talking to yourself? Think about it. What kind of thoughts come through your head if you listen to yourself? Negative. If you're not controlling them. Yeah. Anything. Right? If you're not controlling them, it could be negative. But if you're talking to yourself, okay, and you're saying positive things, and all you got to do is reinforce, like, all I really have to do right now, specifically, is get to my position on my feet, mm -hmm. as opposed to, I got to win this match, because you don't have to win the match. <laughs> right. You know, that's not the, that's the outcome is, you know, you can't determine that. Uh, I use this time every day around lunchtime to uh, come down here, get a sweat, and uh, you try to read a little bit, but I also think about who I need to push and what buttons I need to push. And, uh, no matter what time of the year, there's always somebody that's going through something that I gotta figure out something. That's my little break of the day that lets me get a little workout in. But more importantly, it makes me think about things. I've got a big, couple of big matches coming up this weekend with uh, Penn coming to town and Princeton Friday, Saturday, back to back. Uh, to me, the thing in my mind is all they need, all my guys need to do is really carry over uh, their training to their competition. I use this time to focus on team practice and uh, make sure we're ready for the weekend.
Everyone's pulling for each other. You come off the mat, get, get your gear on, get right back on the bench and help each other out. All right, you got it? Ray, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a, a, a little stepping stone for where we're going to go. We're going to, after this match, it's going to go right through. And you got to feel it. You got to make it happen tonight. your feet. No, 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 no. Let's go. Hey, focus on your focus on your match right now. Focus on your match. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Nice work. See how you finish? Two points. Nice work. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just focus, focus. In the second period, I was I had a pretty significant lead, probably five points or so, and he had actually gotten deep on one of my legs, and to counter, I rolled under in much better position, but my leg was kind of stuck behind me. He still had it, you know, knowing me, I was hard-headed, I wanted to take down. I knew my knee was in shifty position, but, so I was working for the takedown, and all of a sudden I heard big pop, and I knew that something was pretty severely wrong. We gotta come back tomorrow and wrestle a lot better than we did today. Won four matches tonight, guys. Won four matches, and we didn't wrestle near of our capability. We won four matches. Get a good night's sleep. Let's come on. We got we got a big match tomorrow. Harvard on three. One, two, three. Harvard. Things didn't change anything, and you made a change last night. Let's turn it around right now. Change it like you did against BU. Or could you go out and wrestle like, that way and get, like you did against BU. Everyone, all right? Everyone. Took a lot out. We got to shoot now. We got to shoot. Turn go, turn go, turn go, turn go. Yes, hey, focus on your match. Start right here. Focus on your match. Don't worry about what just happened, okay? Focus on your match. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice job. Pin up. Pin up. It's not finding, it's not learning any more moves, making decisions if I want to be great, okay? We have 45 seconds. That means we have a minute and 15 to get out. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Forget about it, shower up, clean up. Okay, let's have a nice evening, okay? This is a, a nice time to spend with our parents, and let them see about the family we created here, okay? Bring it in. It was a hard weekend for Harvard. Losing back-to-back -back matches to Ivy League rivals is not easy to swallow. In addition, the injury to freshman star Eric Morris would sideline him for the rest of the season. The momentum the Crimson were building after their great duel with Boston was fading. We talk at the beginning of the year when you know we're feeling great end of preseason everyone's feeling awesome we're really healthy at that point and we sit down and say listen we're gonna hit those hardships we're gonna hit those lulls we're gonna hit those failures there's gonna be injuries there's gonna be down times in the long season where you know the mo you lose a little bit of motivation for um, wrestling and coming to practice and it's in those moments when coaches positive energy is positive outlook 
becomes like contagious. Coach Weiss is constantly reminding our guys as we're going through this process, as they're putting in, these guys are putting in the hard work and having success and struggling and facing adversities, constantly reminding uh, our guys that this is all a part of the process and you guys are learning as you're moving through and you're developing and you're becoming better people and becoming better wrestlers. And I mean winning's fun, right? Losing is tough, but but when you lose, you know, that's where really where you're you're gonna get those life lessons and really where a lot of learning opportunities present themselves. So from a coach's perspective again being an eternal optimist, you win, you lose, there's positive to, positives to be gained and, and I always say to my guys, you know, every time you step on the mat you have to put yourself in a position to learn something and improve in that, that match and, and take a step forward. It's time, it's time to stop talking about what we need to do and start doing what we need to do. Okay, you guys are trained right from the start. Let's get a lot of energy go, go in your mind. Don't think about winning the match. Think about what we go over, what you need to do in a match. First thing you need to do, okay? Think about the first thing you need to do. Don't worry about, oh, I gotta win this match, because you don't. You gotta focus on what we've been going over. Stay on the legs, pull them in, all the way to Pull up. Stick up. Listen. You're up seven, you're up seven. Let's pick the pace up right here, let's go. Let's go ahead and do it. Come on, let's go, let's go, kid. Let's go, Todd, use it. You go, nice job. Too, he's too fast, too fast. Oh. Pin up! Nice, go. Nice, pin up, pin up! Two back. Better shape than that. Nice job. Great job. We're back, baby. We're in much better shape. One foot, step up. Nice. Yes. Two. 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 Back. One. Yeah. Let's go. Nice job, buddy. Capitalize on every mistake, okay? Don't worry about anything. Don't let any emotions come to your head. Just go out and wrestle. You know how to do this, okay? Nice job. Nice. Back. Nice job. Welcome back, brother. Welcome back. Good job. Good job, Jimmy. All right. Yep. Nice. Nice work. Nice work, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now look what happened. Okay, if that team beat Penn, we come out and wrestle that way. We had a different story both matches last week. Understand, that's how you can wrestle. That's how you can wrestle. You don't worry about what they're doing, what you're doing. You guys did a great job. Everybody fought, I'm telling you. That's good stuff. Look what's happened at the end of the year, wrestling our best, it's gonna carry it right through. Very nice job, okay? Because that was disappointing last week. You did a great job this, uh, today, good job. Harvard on three, one, two, three, Harvard! The beauty of our sport is it comes down to these two days in March and three more days in, you know, at the Nationals. There's pressure in these matches in every tournament. The other guy's feeling pressure too. It's a matter of the person that deals with it the best.